You might not have known this, but Bob Marley, the reggae singer, actually died from melanoma skin cancer. That is the most dangerous type of skin cancer. It was actually found underneath his toenail. You know, believe it or not, the most common forms of melanoma skin cancer diagnosed in black people actually occur on body parts that usually don't see sun. And that is our palms, the soles of our feet, even inside our mouth. Uh, but we can also get melanoma skin cancer in our groin area. It can also develop under our nails. Now, this is a thing, guys. Uh, if you ever see like a dark line that extends the length of your nail or honestly anything that looks funny with your nail, you need to see your doctor, your dermatologist. Sometimes dark lines that we see on the nail could be an indicator of potential skin cancer. But the truth is anyone and everyone can get skin cancer. I'm certainly not saying that everyone cannot and anyone and everyone can get all types of skin cancers. There are more skin cancers than just melanoma. Melanoma, there's squamous cell, basal cell, and other types of skin cancer. It's important to talk about skin cancer in people of color because oftentimes when it's diagnosed in people of color, oftentimes when it's diagnosed in us, it's diagnosed at a late stage. You know, I think we have to remember that, um, yes, uh, melanin, that is pigment in our skin, for those of us who have uh, pigmented skin, that does serve as a bit of protection when it comes to the sun, but it is not foolproof. Uh, we still have to be very, very careful about skin cancer. We still have to wear sunscreen, avoid the sun, and use all the preventive measures that really everyone should be using. Also remember that the sun um, not only increases everyone's risk for skin cancer, but it also increases the risk of looking aged. It ages our skin. In general, you might have heard about the ABCDEs of melanoma. This goes for everyone, not just people of color. Um, a stands for asymmetry. If a mole or a lesion has looks asymmetrical, not the same size on, on both sides of the lesion, that type of thing, not symmetrical, that could be a warning sign. Uh, B is borders. If the borders of the lesion are kind of scalloped or jagged or irregular, that could be a sign of skin cancer. C stands for color. If there are multiple colors in the skin lesion or if it's black or looks kind of scary, uh, red, green, things like that, definitely got to get that looked at. D is for diameter. A skin lesion that is larger than the size of a pencil eraser head uh, can be or could be dangerous. You got to get, get that looked at. And evolving, E for evolving. That means if the lesion is changing, that is something that has to be looked at right away. Now, while those sort of characteristics apply really to anyone and everyone looking at moles and skin lesions on their body, there are a few things that uh, as dark skin people, we need to be looking out for when we are checking our skin. And by the way, skin checks are super important. You can ask your hairdresser to take a look at your scalp, your uh, the back of your neck, your shoulders, areas you might not be able to see. Have your partner uh, take a look, get a mirror and look in different places. This is very important. But a few things, this is according to the American Academy of Dermatology that they recommend in particular for helping spot skin cancers on people of darker skin. Um, take, you know, look out for things like dark spots or growths or darker patches of skin that either grow or bleed or change in any way. Notice that's kind of a theme with this. Uh, look out for sores that just don't heal or a sore that heals and then it kind of comes back. That can be a problem as well. Look out for a sore that has a hard time healing in general, especially if it appears in a scar or in skin that was injured in the past. Look out for patches of skin that might feel rough or dry. And as I mentioned earlier, um, look for uh, dark lines underneath or around a fingernail or toenail, especially dark lines that might travel like a thin line or a thicker line that travels uh, the, the, the length of the nail or is around the nail, that is a warning sign that we want you to get checked out right away. I should say that I think all of those points actually should apply to all of us, no matter what color we are. Um, but sometimes spotting uh, uh, skin cancers in people of darker skin um, can be more difficult for some. And those, I think, are some great guidelines from the American Academy of Dermatology. The bottom line here is understand that even with darker skin, we can get skin cancer and do get skin cancer. Uh, and oftentimes when we get skin cancer, Cancer, it may be more dangerous or more advanced than others. We need to be vigilant and on the lookout. Um, anything that seems, seems abnormal with your skin, please get it checked out. And like I said before, wear sunscreen, stay out of the sun, make sure you're checking your body, all of this good stuff, and get things checked out that don't seem normal. Guys, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what your comments are. I want to hear your reactions, comments, etc. cetera. Um, let me know. Uh, spread this video to anyone you think might be able to benefit from it. Uh, for those of you on Facebook, please 
please like and follow my page. Uh, for those of you who send stars, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Also consider joining my subscription group, Dr. Jen Superstars. On YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.